if the noise source is input to a mixer without an input filter, both sidebands from the noise source will go into the IF and generate a signal. And this gives you the wrong gain and therefore the wrong noise figure. I'm going to illustrate this now using the PNA in a special mode that allows it to make Y factor measurement. You can create a Y-factor measurement using a hot and cold measurement and knowledge of the noise source ENR. So I've done that here. The blue trace is the Y-factor method. The yellow trace is my vector corrected method. We do see a little bit of more ripple here because uh, when I connect the noise source directly to the mixer input, there's no intervening switches or cables like we have in the... Um, in the full cold source method where I use the automatic switching network. But we can see that the results are almost identical. So this illustrates that you can get uh, reasonable results with a Y factor measurement when you have a input filtered mixer. And for completeness, here's also a measurement of the gain in the Y factor compared to the gain. And of course we see a lot more ripple in the gain of the Y factor because it doesn't have any kind of mismatch correction. And for completeness, so you can see what I was doing or how I achieved this, the yellow trace is the measurement with the, of the noise coming out of the converter with the noise source on, and the memory trace or red trace is with the noise off. That's the hot and cold measurement. We also need a hot and cold measurement of the directly into the PNA receiver to calibrate that out, and that's uh, measured in this blue trace. And finally, we need to have the ENR of the noise source and I've got that in the yellow trace. So those are the parts that go into the calculation of Y factor on a PNA. And I can use this set of equations here. This is from chapter 9 in the second edition of my book that shows how to com compute the gain and the noise figure from the hot and cold measurements. Remember the Y factor is the P hot divided by P cold. And if we look closely we can see the actual equation editor. So uh, trace 4 is the p-hot, trace 4 memory is the p-cold, trace 6 is the ENR, and uh, this is the direct uh, equation. We do have to take into account the ambient temperature, that's that 297 uh, divided by 290 as part of that equation. In this final example, what I've done is I've removed the filter from the input of the mixer. So this plot shows the original uh, gain curve of the mixer with the bandpass filter clearly present. When I remove the filter, we see the gain goes up a little bit. The filter is really well matched in the middle, so the gain only changes a slight amount. But when I look at the Y factor gain, it's gone up uh, 3 to 4 dB. And so we question why is that? And if you remember our earlier discussion, the Y factor gain uh, will include both sidebands if you don't have a pre-filtered uh, frequency converter. So if you're trying to do it on a bare mixer, for example. Let's look at the consequence on the noise figure. If we remove the filter, here we see the noise figure in the red with the filter and the noise figure without the filter becomes smooth. The interesting thing is maybe this uh, low spot on the noise figure was where the noise parameters of the amplifier matched better with the filter characteristics, so it allowed us to lower the noise figure a little bit, maybe towards the minimum noise figure. But now we see the noise figure on the whole went a little bit lower um, commensurate with the filter loss. If we compare that to the Y-factor noise figure, the Y-factor noise figure in this region dropped 7 dB. It dropped 7 dB because the apparent noise at the output doesn't really change, but the apparent gain changed a lot, and so that makes the Y-factor noise figure much lower than we expect. This noise figure is not the correct noise figure for this frequency converter. It's much lower than the noise figure of the frequency converter. A lot of people don't know about this and have been um, a little bit shocked when they go back and do careful measurements of their frequency converters um, and find that their noise figure they've been reporting is lower than what the true noise figure is. So that's an issue we have to be quite careful with on a uh, Y-factor method, You, for example, using a spectrum analyzer or a noise figure analyzer. On a cold source method, we don't uh, rely on the noise source to measure the gain, and so because of that, we don't have to worry about the noise figure being degraded by having a filter or not having a filter. So 
this is why we think the Y factor method is not really suitable for frequency converters unless they're strongly filtered.